Hey guys, welcome back to another one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Phantom Wallet for Solana so you can interact with the latest DeFi and NFT marketplaces on the Solana ecosystem. If you're interested in this kind of information, please like and subscribe. So let's get into it. So Solana, as we all know, it is one of the most trending cryptocurrencies. Currently, if we check out the market cap, it is number six in the ranking by market cap. And in the past seven days, it's up 33%. And just in the past 24 hours, it's up 5%. When we check out the overall ecosystem, uh, everything else is more or less negative for the most part. So Solana is very, very trending and very hot right now. So let's check it out. As we all know, here's the Solana's website and it is one of the hottest and newest um, cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology right now. It's got a huge backing and one of the ways to interact with Solana is via the wallet. It's kind of like MetaMask as you can see over here for the Ethereum ecosystem, but Solana has Phantom. So make sure you guys go to phantom.app and then uh, it'll bring you to this website. Once you reach this website, then this is the official website to download the Phantom Wallet. And we'll check it out. Like I said, it is just like um, MetaMask for Ethereum. And it can be downloaded on Google Chrome, Brave Browser, which I have currently, Firefox, and Edge. So no more Internet Explorer. So we'll just go to Add to Chrome and it'll bring us to the Google Chrome store. And this is the same thing for Brave. If you have Brave, you can you know use the Google Chrome uh, web store interchangeably. And we'll just click Add to Brave. And I will add this extension. So it's downloading currently. And there we go, just that easy. Phantom has been added to Brave. So I'll kind of walk you through step by step this process. And if you're not familiar with creating wallets, this is uh, very important. And guys, I'm going to show you everything. This is going to be a throwaway wallet. Um, so if you want to you know, try and log into it in the future, by all means, the credentials are gonna be open and out in the air, um, but let's do it. Uh, create new wallet. So this is the secret recovery phrase. Once again, this is a recovery phrase where if for some reason um, your computer crashes or you uninstall this, uh, this wallet, uh, the Phantom app, then in order to get back into the same wallet, because you can always re-download um, Phantom, but in order to get into your wallet, you'll have to type in these codes these code words. And then I'm not sure how this one works. Sometimes you have to put it in this specific order. So you have to type in lobster, pumpkin, visit, record, regret, so on and so forth, all the way to the end. And other um, wallets, they make you uh, type in like uh, specific ones. So they'll ask you for your fourth word and then your sixth word and then your last word and then your first word. So just make sure that you have this written and stored somewhere, um, somewhere that is not on your cell phone in a notes app somewhere that you know that is safe one of the safest ways to do it is just to copy this down on a piece of paper and then from there store that piece of paper somewhere safe I'll just say I'll hit copy and then okay it's safe now we're gonna create a password so once again the password will be All right, now that we have a password, there is a keyboard shortcut in order to open up the uh, app. So instead of having to click on this, like the MetaMask, and it takes a second, you can just uh, use a shortcut. And we'll hit continue, and we're all done. It's just that easy. So now that we have our Phantom Wallet um, from the Google Chrome store, and then guys, one thing I didn't reiterate is just make sure it is offered by phantom.app. There probably is a lot of copycats out there who want to take your money. Uh, just make sure it is by phantom.app and you can also check out the user base. That is another key indicator that you have the correct one. If there's only like 3,000 users, 
mm, it might not be the right one. So now that we have an app, we can go to all of these different uh, applications, dApps uh, on the Solana ecosystem. And one of the ones I made a video about earlier was the Saber app, and it's the number one uh, by ranking. So we'll check that out real quick and see, um, you know, what we can do now that we have our our wallet, which is right here. I'll just pin that right there so we can see it. And like I said, if you're interested in this one, check out that video, but we'll launch the app just to see what we can do. So as you can see for the Saber app, you can swap tokens really easily. There's liquidity pools and all you have to do is connect your wallet, which I'll show you how to do. We have the Phantom app. It's connecting, it's bringing up the wallet. Do you, I want to allow it? Uh, and you can auto approve so that this doesn't automatically pop up every single time that you go to a new website and it wants to, you know, just connect to your wallet. So you can auto approve transactions. I won't do that because this is just a test wallet. And boom, it shows you that we have zero soul currently. Um, but we can add some in easily by just clicking that receive button and then you can deposit uh, Solana. And then also I'll check we'll look at this in a second, but you can add collectibles, which are NFTs. And then also you can do some swaps as well. And this just shows you your activity. And then lastly, you can rename your wallet and all the other little settings in there. And then the last little step in Sabre uh, is just farming, liquidity farming. So that is what we can do. But if you check it out, you can get some pretty awesome APY back 53%. That's nothing to joke at. And lastly, let's check out some NFTs. So the last thing uh, and it is very hot right now is the NFT marketplace for Solana. Definitely the DDN Ape Academy. Uh, we can explore that. You know, this is very, very popular. As you can see, the floor price is 72 soul, which is a lot of money. Um, but if you were to purchase one of these NFTs, then in your wallet, it would just be stored underneath this collectibles tab. So that is the phantom uh, web wallet for Solana in a nutshell. Um, it's the best crypto wallet on the Solana ecosystem, and it is the best way to interact with all of the uh, decentralized apps on the Solana ecosystem. If you guys have any questions on, you know, the wallet, any questions about connecting it, please let me know in the comments below and I will definitely help you guys out and I will see you on the next one.